let's begin testing our uh, NAS server storage performance. We will start with the write operations. As you can see, we don't have yet uh, nothing on our shared folders, so we're going to copy some files and folders. Um, let's start with this uh, tiny size of uh, video file, almost uh, half gigabyte. So let's copy it. Let's open a new folder at our shared folders and copy over here. So we can see that uh, we start almost with 40 megabytes per second at the throughput. Uh, at the IOPS, we almost get uh, 500 IOPS. The write operation is not stable, as you can see. And let's um, copy something uh, more uh, great than a half gigabyte. Um, okay, maybe that. Let's copy this folder again. I created a new folder, and to this new folder, to that new folder, I copy another folder, much bigger than that file. Okay, let's begin testing. Again, the throughput began with uh, high, uh, almost uh, 30 megabyte uh, per second. And again, we can see it's not stable. It tried to be stable, but it struggled. Uh, the IOPS, again, we almost get uh, 500 IOPS. So we can say that the, oh, right now we saw 520 and 21 IOPS. We can say that the SSD features is activate on the right operations. And Okay, you can see that the Windows uh, utilization is values is almost identical with uh, with the utilization of our uh, NAS server uh, for boot. Let's see how much from the usage of our internet uh, device. So. Uh, most of the time will be will be down at 200 megabit and in order to get these uh, values you're gonna take this throughput you can see uh, let's say let's take the 20 megabyte multiply it by 8 and you will get the value of your internet card of the usage of the internet card so it be, will, will be 160 megabit per second so we can say that the write operation is not stable and uh, values is good is not uh, very high um, we can see the ssd features activated at the write operations and it's not like the file system creation that we saw 9000 IOPS almost stable um, it's uh, very interesting to know what what we will need to in order to activate the SSD features and to take this uh, NAS storage to a different level so let's begin with the read operations um let's take this folder and copy it to our desktop okay so we can see that at the read operations the throughput is stable almost on 20 megabyte per second the iops is on two is also stable on 200 uh, IOPS and the usage of the internet card you can guess it will be 100, 180 megabyte per second it's uh, stable um, it's very stable we can see it and 
the numbers is not uh, great and we don't see here any uh, SSD features which uh, activate and help uh, our NAS server to run faster or to make the operations uh, much quicker. But it's very important to get uh, stable uh, values because it will make your NAS server uh, more reliable and more uh, efficient. <coughs> so let's move on to the internal operation testing. Testing, we're gonna take uh, folders with which exist at the NAS server storage and copy to another location another folder location at the shared folders and that's the way we're gonna um, check the internal operation of the NAS server so let's begin we can see that the read operations and the write operations is stable um, not not like before the write operation is stable as you can see also the throughput is stable we can see we can say that uh, the total iops the read and the write is almost on 400 iops and the total throughput is gonna be almost uh, 40 uh, megabyte per second which is very uh, nice uh, performance for uh, this kind of uh, architecture um, I'm glad that the right IOPS and throughput is stable not just uh, like uh, before uh, that we test the right operations um, again, it's very interesting to know what uh, make uh, uh, when we created the file system uh, to make this IOPS to um, to be at 9000 and something in almost stable and I will uh, keep investigating but for now we can say that the internal and the read operations is stable the write operations uh, is not stable uh, at the read at sorry at the internal and the write operations we can see the ssd features activated and at the read operations we don't we didn't see any uh, special uh, ssd features So, at the next video, we're going to test our redundancy uh, NAS server storage. So, thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.